Hi, we will see how to file GSTR2 from Zoho Books. The GSTR2 is a tax return which covers inward supplies of goods and services. When you make purchases from registered vendors, the information from their sales return, which is nothing but the GSTR1 for your vendors, will be populated as GSTR2A in the GSTN portal, which you can use to file GSTR2. You can check this information, make changes if necessary, and add any details that were not added by your vendor. Then, you can push the recon shell transaction into the GSTN and finally file the GSTR2 return. GSTR2 filing is a four-step process. You will have to first pull GSTR2A from GSTN and reconcile them with transactions you have recorded within Zoho Books. Then, you have to upload the transaction into the GSTN, followed by verifying and submitting the transactions. Finally, you will have to file the return. Please keep your GSTN name and registered phone ready. In order to file GSTR return directly from Zoho Books, you will have to enable the API access from your GST portal. If you have already done this, you can skip this process. If you have not, let's see how to enable API access. First, log into your GST portal and head to Dashboard section. Click on My Profile and select Manage API Access. Click Yes and set the duration and then click Confirm. Now, let's head back to Zoho Books. These are the bills I have recorded so far. Please make sure you have enabled eligible for ITC option for those transactions for which you would like to claim credit. When we are pushing the data to GSTN, we will send items which are labeled as goods as inputs, services as input services, fixed assets as capital goods. Let's head to GST filing section under the accountant tab. Choose the month for which you are filing here. Under the Overview tab, you will find the summary categorized and ordered based on the tables in GSTR2 specified by GSTN. Here, you can drill down to see transactions which contributes the value. You can use this transaction type filter to view the particular type. You can filter a particular transaction type according to the GSTR2 tables. And you can also filter transactions which are yet to be uploaded. Let's first pull the transaction from GSTN. Let's head to Reconciliation tab. Click on Pull from GSTN button. Click on Generate OTP. Please note that you will receive the OTP from GSTN in both your registered email ID and in your registered phone number. Enter the OTP and complete the process. Now, you will find transactions which are pulled in from GSTR2A which is auto-populated in GSTN based on the transactions uploaded by your supplier. Now, there are four possible cases here for every transaction pulled in from GSTN. GSTR2A pulled from GSTN matches perfectly with the transaction details you have recorded within Zoho Books. This will be first case. Transactions pulled in from GSTN which are not related to you or added incorrectly under your GSTN number and you'd like to remove them from the list. This would be the reject case. Transactions pulled in from GSTN is incorrect and you would like to modify the data and upload it to GSTN. This will be the third case modified. Some of the transactions is not populated in the list pulled in from GSTN and you would like to add them. So this will be the final case add. You don't have to cross check each and every transaction to know in which category they fall in. Zoho Books will fetch the transactions from GSTN and categorize them based on these scenarios automatically and will list them in these four tabs. Let's first go to missing in GSTN. In this tab, you will find transactions which are present in Zoho Books but they are not auto-populated in GSTN through GSTR2A. For each and every transaction displayed here, you will find two rows of data. The bottom one is the details pulled in from GSTN, which will be marked in red, and the top one is from the details you have provided within Zoho Books. You can click on Add to GSTN, which will push the transaction to GSTN, and then it will move this transaction to the Match section. Under this tab, you will find transactions which are not available in Zoho Books, but it is auto-populated in GSTN through GSTR2A. Let's say you have missed to record a purchase transaction, but your vendor had uploaded the transaction into GSTN perfectly. In this case, the particular transaction pulled in from GSTN will be displayed here in red. Now, when you click on Create and Match, a transaction will be created inside Zoho Books and it will automatically be matched and will be placed inside the Match section. 
If the transaction displayed here is not relevant to you, you can reject it. Under the partially matched section, you will find transactions which match with the transaction in Zoho Books, but not all the fields match perfectly. For example, let's say the vendor's GSTIN and the purchase invoice number matches perfectly, but the amount specified in the transaction does not match. In this case, you will find the transaction here. You can click on use my value to use the value which you have recorded within Zoho Books and then push the transaction to the recon cell tab. When you click on modify, you will be taken to the particular transaction and here you will find the difference highlighted in red. You can modify the data and save it. This transaction will be available in the match section. Under the match section, you will find transactions pulled from GSTN, which perfectly matches with the transaction details you have recorded within Zoho Books. You can either mark this transaction as accepted, which will move this transaction to the reconcile tab, or mark this as pending. By this, you can use this transaction for the next GSTR2 filing. You will find all the reconcile transactions here. Please note that the transactions which are under this reconcile tab will only be pushed into GSTN from Zoho Books. Now let's head to push to GSTN tab. In this section, you will find transactions which are ready to be uploaded into GSTN. Here you can view the hedges in summary, nil summary and ITC reversal details. Once you have verified all the transactions, click on push to GSTN. When the transactions are uploaded successfully, you will receive an email and you will also be notified in the notification section. Now we have successfully uploaded all the transactions to GSTN. If GSTN had reverted back with any errors, you will find them here. You can rectify and re-upload the transactions. Now let's head to GSTN, which is the step three in filing GSTR2. Go to dashboard and click on return dashboard. Choose the return filing period. And then select GSTR2. Since we have pushed all the transactions from Zoho Books, all the fields and boxes will be automatically filled in. You can click here to view more details and we can further drill down and even modify the data if necessary. Once you have done, scroll down and click on preview. A PDF will be downloaded. Again, cross check the data and once you have verified the uploaded data, check this box and submit the report. This is a very important step as you will not be allowed to change any data after this submit process. Once done, click on File Return button and file GSTR2 with DSC or with EVC. This is the fourth and final step. Hope this helps. Let us know if you need any assistance. Send your emails to gstindia at zohofinance.com or call our GST helpline. Thank you.